And he shot him not once, not twice, not three times, but five times in the head. Taking him away from his sons, taking him away from his family. Calling Richard Beasley a master manipulator, prosecutor John Baumel urged the jury to find Beasley guilty on 26 charges, including multiple counts of aggravated murder. The killing was not going to stop. He had a thirst for blood. He had a thirst for death. Prosecutors say Beasley created a fake Craigslist ad promising a job on a southern Ohio farm, but instead lured David Pauley, Ralph Geiger, and Timothy Kern to their deaths. Baumel said the men were easy targets, looking for a better life. Instead, they were shot and buried. There was a systematic approach to executing these innocent men. But the defense countered that prosecutors failed to prove Beasley is the killer. But it's easy just to say it. But what we're talking about in this courtroom is what evidence is there to prove it. The defense continued to suggest that motorcycle gang members with connections to Beasley could be responsible for the murders and tried to discredit the testimony of the sole survivor, Scott Davis. He ID'd Beasley as the gunman. When Beasley testified, he claimed Davis tried to kill him. Only two people in the woods when this incident occurred. Why is he any more credible than Richard Beasley? But only in the mind of Richard Beasley can he turn it around and say, this Scott Davis who escaped and it should be uh, it should be celebrated. He should be sitting over here, Scott Davis. And I implore you not to fall prey to those lies.